Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Abu Bakr and I would like to ask a question. My question is, I am at a school and, um, where most of the students are non-Muslims. Could you advise me how to invite them to Islam? Beautiful question. Brother asked a very good question. And he asked that since he's in a non-Muslim school, where the majority of the, his classmates are non-Muslims, how should I invite them towards Islam? And as you may be knowing, there are various ways and styles of doing dawah. Whichever is effective, you use it. But the, way, the one that we have chosen at the Islamic Research Foundation is that instead of speaking a thousand good points about Islam, normally what people say that Islam, they have got so and so good points, don't have alcohol, etc., one, two, three, four, and we note. Instead of speaking a thousand good points about Islam, but we have a way that first we ask the non-Muslim that what do you feel is wrong with Islam? Which are the negative points of Islam? Because even if you speak a thousand good points about Islam, and if that non-Muslim has two negative points about Islam, he will never agree with you. He will agree those thousand points are good, but still he will say, this Muslim, they marry more than one wife. These Muslims, they are circumcised. So what we do, that first we pose them the question, that what do you feel is wrong with Islam? Which are the things you don't agree with whatever little bit of Islam you know? And believe me, we have done a survey, and we have come to know that the average non-Muslim, the 90% non-Muslims, they don't have more than 15 to 20 questions about Islam. They don't have more than 15 to 20 questions against Islam. So when we train a Dai, we first equip him with the answer to these 15 to 20 questions. There are the common question which all may be aware of, that why do the Muslim men are allowed to marry more than one wife? Why are the women kept in the way? Why is two women witness equivalent to one witness of man in Islam? Why do the women inherit half? Why is the Muslim man circumcised? Why don't you all have pork? Why don't you all have alcohol? Aren't you all ruthless people having non -wage? All these are the common questions. And believe me, if you can master these 15 to 20 questions, you can win over at least 90% of non-Muslims. And after you have removed the misconception, then even if you speak 10 good points about Islam, they will accept it. This is a Zen philosophy. If the cup is filled, and if you pour more into it, it will overflow. First empty the cup, then pour what you want to pour into it. So first, what we do is we, we encourage the youngsters to learn the answers to these 15 to 20 questions. And then we ask them to go into the field. And later on, then we train them with a little bit of words of the Bible, of the Vedas, of the Gitas, of the Holy Quran, and simultaneously his knowledge keeps on increasing. But first, we equip him with the answers which are normally posed by the non-Muslims. Because if we cannot answer these questions, they will start poking fun at you. So what we have to do is that first, we have to equip ourselves and make our, ourselves well versed with these answers. If you're interested in knowing any common question which your non-Muslim friend may have posed you and which you are unable to clarify, you are most welcome to ask here. Because to give the answer to all the 15 questions will require another couple of lectures. But if you have any question in your mind which you'd like to know the answer of, you're most welcome. But you should start doing dawah immediately. You should not wait and say that until I acquire the knowledge, like Sheikh Didad or like someone else, then I'll start doing dawah. You should start immediately to make a beginning. And you know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, in Surah An Kabut, chapter number 29, verse number 69, that if you strive in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will open up your pathway. So this is the way that we have adopted and we are very successful with it. If you have any particular question, you're most welcome with it. Or any one of the answers you require which I have posed a couple, you're most welcome with it.